I put a tack pin side up on the bathroom mat in my friend's bathroom. Warning, some audiences may find this content disturbing. View at your own discretion. Welcome to the house of Reddit. Today, we share some recent r slash confessions posted on Reddit. I put a tack pin side up on the bathroom mat in my friend's bathroom. Her older sister was a total brat that would always make fun of us and pester and annoy us just for laughs. I was trying to sleep on the living room couch during the day after staying the night and being up all night goofing off. Her older sister kept coming into the living room and throwing things on me like toys that made a lot of sound or she would come in and set an alarm clock up in the room somewhere where I couldn't reach and set an alarm so I'd be woken up and couldn't reach it to turn it off. So while she was outside sunbathing I found a tack in their office desk and went into her personal bathroom and set it pin side up on the shower mat. I didn't think she would actually step on it, I thought my plan would be a waste of time because it was actually pretty obvious to see if you looked down at all. Well when I finally fell back asleep and she went inside to take a shower and clean up after sunbathing, I heard a scream from her after she stopped the shower water and then her yelling wow. And flipping out trying to get her mom to come help her. She apparently stepped directly onto the pin and it was stuck right in the bottom of her foot. It's been my secret my entire life, I've never told anyone. I was a little bit ashamed but she made my enjoyable times there with my friend absolute hell, so I didn't feel exactly that bad. I'm 33 now though, and I'm still a little bit glad she ended up stepping on the pin. She was such a bitch. Kids can be so mean. She and I both that is. Mine was just a little bit of revenge though for years of torment that she put she through every time I was over. Sorry Leah. I broke another person's guitar string and got away with it. So a couple of years ago I was in my middle school guitar class. We were going to present a song for a festivity, I don't remember what it was, but I do remember that about half an hour before we were supposed to go into the stage, another kid asked me to tune his guitar since I was the best guitar player in the class. I agreed and proceeded to accidentally break his third or fourth string in a pretty dumb way. I didn't realize that, for some reason, the string I was tuning was attached to a wrong head, so I kept turning it without hearing any change, so I turned it even harder until it eventually broke. That's when I realized my mistake and felt pretty dumb since I did realize the tune wasn't changing. The kid got a little bit angry at me, but before I could apologize, other people started defending me since there was no way it was his fault, he obviously knows exactly what he is doing, and your guitar is pretty cheap so it was probably that. They convinced him that it was his guitar's fault and we got called to the stage, without anyone ever knowing it was actually my fault. There wasn't any problem on stage for him because there were about 20 of them all playing badly but I still felt a little bad afterwards. I've become a drug dealer over the summer and have scammed tourists. Never thought my life would go this downhill over the summer, guess this is some form of teenage rebellion cause my parents are very anti-drugs. But back to the point. So yes I've become a drug dealer, nothing more nothing less. I'm just starting out so I'm mostly selling to friends or at least people I know. Though I've made a few sales to rich tourists who want to get fucked up and don't care about the price. The most fun part about scamming them is making up the story of how good my stuff is, Though it is true that a lot of the good stuff is scarce right now, due to everything being put on hold due to COVID. But saying stuff like that this is best shit you can find right now and that they'll get it for a really good price makes my day, the expressions these unknowing fuckers make fills me with joy. Ecstasy I'd normally sell for 5 euros I sell to them for about your 20-25 euros depending on how stubborn they are, and the list goes on. Thanks for reading my confession. I have become a serial shoplifter and I have no clue how to stop or even where to go next. I don't really know when it all started, but my best guess is a few months ago when I stole a foundation from Ulta. While stealing the first time, I was so scared and so cautious that it was like a game to me, seeing just how much I could get away with. After that, I began to go downhill, especially after realizing how easy it was to steal and not get caught in my area. For example, I have stolen in one tome around $50 worth of makeup from Walmart, walked away fine and came back to the store two days later with no problems. At this point, I don't know what to do with myself. I go to counseling, for what is most likely bipolar 2 disorder that's undiagnosed, but my therapist has no idea about this problem that could probably be called kleptomania at this point. I don't want to tell her, because I don't want my parents to know, but at the same time I know that if I keep doing this, I'll eventually get caught and my life will be over. I honestly don't even have good reason to steal. I come from a middle class family, have everything I need, 
and have loving parents who would be horrified to find out I do this. I'm salutatorian of my class, captain of the mock trial team, and a regular volunteer with my town's YES program. I don't even know where to turn, but no matter what I do, I can't stop. I violated my friend's trust and privacy for self-satisfaction. My friend was in her college course and had forgotten a really important assignment back at her place. All of her roommates were out and the only one who was available didn't have a way to get back. She's texting me this and freaking out about it and I really wanted to help her but had to be at work soon. Now at the time I would have done any and everything for this woman. So to help her I talked to my supervisor and moved some stuff around. This allowed me to drive to the college and get her house keys so I could head back to her place and pick up her assignment, swing back by the college to drop it off and get to work on time. Problem solved. Now my initial actions were sincere and held no, bad, ulterior motives but while driving to her place I realized that I would have access to everything there albeit a short time. So I got to her place and grabbed the assignment. While there I spent a few minutes debating with myself whether or not to leave or take advantage of the situation. I left shortly after incredibly turned on and realizing I wanted more but I needed another way in. This happened a few years back and over the years I would have more chances to do it again over the years. I wanted to get this out in the open for a long time now and I guess just talk about it and get some feedback. I stole SimCity in the 7th grade from my school computer lab. At my middle school we had a computer lab, a rarity in public schools at the time. My computer instructor had a copy of the original SimCity and it blew our minds. The game was a reward for students who went above and beyond on assignments. I got to play it a few times and was hooked and I knew our instructor kept the disc in an unlocked desk. One day during lunch I snack into the lab and stole it. I distinctly remember the act of theft playing out in exquisite slow motion. It was like the scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark where Indiana Jones snags the golden idol from the jungle temple. I spent the rest of the day at school in a delirious state of suspense. At any moment I was sure my computer instructor would burst through the door of one of my classes to bust me. But nothing happened. The next weekend I brought it to my friend's house who had a compatible computer. To say we played the shit out of that game is an understatement. The thing is, I was always concerned that my friend's mom would inquire where the game came from and would check in with my parents who would have likely said wait where did he get that? Time came and went and no questions were ever raised. My friend and I blew off one beautiful day after another in favor of raising huge virtual cities good times founded on a petty crime. I yelled at a little boy in front of his mother because he was staring at me. This happened back in high school. I know it's not an excuse but back in school I was really depressed and irritable as hell. I was your basic unhappy, angry teenager. I was walking home from after school volleyball practice and my mom called me about some bulls at things she was accusing me of. I can't really remember what is was, something along the lines of me not telling her something. Anyway I was pissed off she called me and I was already an angry teen. So basically I was furious. So I'm walking home and I see this little boy riding on a tricycle and a woman his mother I assumed, waking behind him. The kid passes me as I'm walking and he's staring at me, little kids stare a lot, I don't know why, and I was mad that he kept having his eyes on me and I shouted what the fuck are you looking at? Huh? And his mother says really? You're being serious right now? And I said tell your shit son to stop staring at me. Teach him to mind his own business. And she goes he's just a little boy for goodness sake, you're an asshole you know that. And she tells her son to pedal faster to get away from me and they end up leaving. At the time I didn't really care because as I said I was a pretty nasty teen. But now that I'm older and more mature I just feel like giant ass. The mother was right, I am an asshole. I wish I could go find her and apologize profusely to her son and to her. I regret it so much and sometimes it keeps me up at night. I don't like punishing people that don't deserve it and even more so that it was a young child. If I could turn back time as they say. I don't know if this will fix anything. If you're out there, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for yelling at your son, I know I was being mean and ridiculous. I shouldn't have ever yelled at you or him. Even though I wasn't a happy teen, there's was still no excuse for my behavior. I'm not asking for forgiveness, I just wanted to admit my wrongdoing and apologize. I tapped on my best friend's crotch area while he was asleep. Hello there, thank you for taking the time to read, I'm 17 male, here and I want to get off my chest how I possibly ruined my entire life in a matter of seconds. I'm going to get straight to the point of what I did here then explain, 
I tapped on my best friend's crotch area twice with my finger while he was asleep. Now I want to get to why I ever did that in the overall circumstances. My nearly entire early teen life, I have suffered from mental illness such as depression and I now as of the beginning of the year, I've often felt empty like having no happiness, no sadness, no motivation, etc. Around two months ago now, my best friend, Mark, and I had a sleepover at his house. We were having a pretty good time until around very early in the morning he fell asleep. At first, I decided to just go to sleep as well since it would be boring without him up so I settled down and tried falling asleep for about 20 minutes. I couldn't, it was too uncomfortable sharing his bed, along with it being extremely humid. I just decided to stay awake for a while while being on my phone so I could get tired and fall asleep easier. Then, I saw Mark turn in his sleep with him somehow taking off his entire blanket off with he was turning. There I saw his area bulging, so I had sudden thought, maybe I should quickly tap on it, maybe it'll give me some excitement, some happiness or anything, I just wanted to feel alive. So I did, I stuck out my pointer finger and I tapped on his area twice very quickly and lightly. There in that immediate moment, I suddenly thought what the hell am I doing? So I stopped, and fixed the blanket back over him. He doesn't know what happened and the guilt since then has been killing me to the point I can't even breathe, eat, play video games, watch TV, be with family, do anything comfortably. I keep telling myself what type of person does that disgusting stuff and I feel like I deserve to suffer immensely, so I have suffered. For the past two months, every second from the moment I wake up to the moment I fall asleep I think of my bad action. Sleep itself is the only thing I enjoy now. I have decided to confess what I did to him this Friday another sleepover at the same place, I've always wanted to be the best person I could ever be. Treat others with kindness no matter what, always be open to anything, and just make the world a better place. And honestly, I was pretty proud of myself in succeeding in those ambitions, of course until what I did to Mark. But, with this action I feel like I've done the exact opposite so I deserve to suffer. And I've accepted, yet I'm extremely panicked of any possible punishments. I'm scared it will damage any and all of my relationships. I'm scared of making others suffer with what I did. I'm scared that for the rest of my life, that will be the only thing I'm known for and ruin all my possible chances of ever being happy. I'm scared people might think I did worse. I'm just scared to hurt anybody. Thank you for reading my story, I will update this after I confess. May you all have have happy lives and I'm sorry for just being possibly just another terrible person. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Turn on the notifications to know when we post new videos. Thank you for coming to the house of Reddit.